Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Greetings, everybody. I'm going to be talking about a horror movie called Christine. This is a horror movie from my youth way back in the day from 1983, based on a novel by Stephen King, directed by John Carpenter. This movie has given me so much enjoyment over the years. A major part of my youth uh, came out in 83, so I'm about 12. A major part of my youth was growing up with this movie, watching it over and over, reading the book. I had a fascination with horror books and was given permission to read them at a pretty young age. I think I discussed, I even knew Stephen King pen names, would read all the books I could. So here's a movie, a supernatural horror movie, directed by one of my favorite directors, one of my favorite writers. It's based on a novel. And growing up as a teenager, I would always go back to this movie. I don't give major plots and reveals, spoilers, but this is an old film that I think you need to get the gist of. In a roundabout way, I'll try to do. I'll try to do it. <clears throat> you have an awkward teenager, his best friend, who's the football star, and the opportunity to get a girl. You have that intermixing of great chemistry with the actors. Perfect casting, and in a moment of, I think it's defiance. I'm not sure if he's told he can't buy a car, but the character buys a 1958 Plymouth Fury named Christine. And with this storyline about a teenager growing up and all the angst that comes with it, the tropes, done superbly well. I love the... Um, cinematography, the decisions made on what to capture. It's not one of those long three-hour horror movies. It's got a great pacing. And you got this possessed car with a mind of its own. The special effects they used were amazing. And probably a real easy, I'm guessing, reverse film. Like, you know... You show you damage something and you reverse the film and it looks like it, it just blows me away till today. But growing up, it's a movie I always went back to every year and I was getting to that age where the movie, well, I wasn't in the same kind of area. I'm in Brooklyn, New York, all stuck together growing up. Uh, this was a little more like a suburbs, but it's the things that you go through as a teenager and the potential downward spiral of people who are just a certain way. You get to really appreciate and understand the character. I believe he's Arnie Cunningham or Cunningham. The relationship he has with his friend, meeting a new girl, this obsession with the car. The car's obsession with him, it's really out there as a premise that works on so many levels and just going back to it over and over growing up something you always recommend to people uh i think at the time john carpenter had did the thing i believe first i think this was right after i could be wrong but grossing a pretty decent amount for the film becomes a cult classic and i've watch it with my friends over and over it's just got a good feel mixture of you know horror suspense and that thing that you recognize as a teenager growing up and maybe this is more of a point from a male perspective fine um i just really appreciate how they put it together now the main actor i believe was in um what do I remember him from? I think it was a Ronnie Dangerfield movie. Back to School, maybe. 
Um, don't remember the well. There's a cat. There's some stars in the movie. Harry Dean Stanton, but they're not the main character. So it's not like these people went on to be huge stars. Although maybe if someone followed it more than me, they'd be able to give me a little more information in that sense. But you don't recognize every name, but you recognize the main kid from. Like I said, the uh, Ronnie Dangerfield movie, Back to School. But I've watched this movie multiple times a year. Watching with friends. You, you shut the lights off. It's that type of movie. You get the popcorn. It's fun, zany. It could be dark. And just at a time where some of the best movies are being made uh, in the horror genre. And my fascination with John Carpenter... And Stephen King, you can't go wrong. If I were to say, as a fanboy growing up, I think it still holds up. I would still say it's one of John Carpenter's um, gems. He takes a lot of chances here and there. They're not all um, to my liking, in a sense, but I could never get enough of this movie. You can share any experiences and. Just sitting down to watch it just brings me back to that time in my life. Like I said, 12, I guess anywhere from 11 to 12, depending on when the actual release date was. And like I said, you got this teenage story. It gets dark. There's a supernatural twist about a car being possessed, and it goes overboard in a really good, fun way. It's kind of twisted and... Uh, perverse, but not on the level of today's standards, but at the time it was just, and it, I think the trope has been done or that type of movie uh, machines or vehicles go crazy, they become sentient in some sense, but this was more, it was just something I hadn't seen before, really spooky just really hits it on all levels I, I think it's something that uh people would enjoy finding now uh getting a chunk of the 80s and even if you get the time difference and you're somebody who notices like oh yeah i can't watch movies from the 70s or the 80s it's got that feel you notice the cars because it's the fact that he has a car that's already 20 something years old and it's a junker when he gets it and he's got to rebuild it and he tries to go to a uh junker shop and he rents a spot so he can fix up his car. It's got the nostalgia, it's vintage. And I think that kinda helps it survive till today. You know, you're watching you could see the parallels are so there for people. You could see it in even today, you know, you're going to buy your first car, you're arguing with your parents, you're becoming a rebel, and you add this supernatural twist it's just so much good to say about this movie I implore people to watch it um, give me your feedback I think it's uh, you know one of my favorites one of the greats in the genre that it's in the sophistication is not as deep as some psychological thrillers but the blending of everything seems to work for me on all levels so Watch Christine, 1983, based on a Stephen King novel directed by John Carpenter. Stay healthy, stay safe, my best to you and yours.